Madam President, reserving the right to object, I would ask the Senator to modify his request to offer a resolution that actually helps move women's health and rights forward. Simply put, the resolution the Senator is offering is just more of the same. It is another effort to pander to the extreme Republican base by using women's health and constitutionally protected rights as a political football. And unfortunately, it makes clear for the umpteenth time that when it comes to improving access to affordable health care for women, some Republicans are determined to stand in the way of progress. Madam President, I expect that some of my Republican colleagues will say this res resolution shows how much they care about women's health. The truth is, it shows the opposite. It shows once again that Repu the Republican Party wants to interfere in a woman's medical decisions. Strengthening women's health care doesn't start with telling women what they should and should not do with their own bodies, but that's exactly what that resolution does. If my Republican colleagues really want to support women's reproductive care, they would work with Democrats on improving access to affordable birth control under the Affordable Care Act, including emergency contraceptives, ensuring women and families make their own decisions about their health care, not their bosses, and fighting back against efforts across the country to undermine women's constitutionally protected health care rights. Madam President, it's time to, for Republicans to drop the political attacks on women's health and instead join Democrats to focus on these priorities and more like them so that women, not politicians, not insurance companies, not CFOs or CEOs, are in control of their health care, just as it should be. That is why I asked the Senator to modify his request to instead ask unanimous consent that the Health Committee be discharged from further consideration of SRES 37, and the Senate proceed to its immediate consideration. 